Hello everyone, this is the Crown Shane, part of the Long Journey Divided Team, bringing you back Factorio. This is episode 11. It means 11 episodes in, man. It's like, it feels so long. Anyway, this is the 11th episode. As you can see, we put down some uh, concrete. Got a whole setup here. Nice and nice and uh, quick way of getting around. Um, still going to be working on it as time goes on. But it was really boring doing this on, like, on screen, just making the line. It's literally goes straight across the base. You can see it right here. It goes straight across to the edge here. Um, not quite to the gate yet because we ran it out, but still plenty going on here. Um, in this episode, <coughs> sorry about that. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and get some auto crafting for these underground belts and these splitters, so we can upgrade everything very easily. That's what we want to do: is upgrade everything, all the things. So, first things first, we're going to need some assembly machines. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What's this? There seems to be a bit of a lax when it comes to, comes to the copper. We're not crafting it fast enough anymore. It seems we are not crafting it fast enough anymore. That is not backing up. Probably from our extensive use. Yeah, it's from our extensive use of it down here. So, that means we need to upgrade this, add more lines to it. Should be too hard. These guys out of the way. Look at that. Oh, I like it. <sighs> Ever since I set this up, um, Oh, right, right, and the last lab completed, the last lab upgrade, lab's research speed, that completed while I was uh, putting down, laying down everything down. <clears throat> As you see here, we now have 13 construction robots and 19 logistic robots, because I had sent construction robots to get rid of a bunch of trees to create this line, right? And they realized, oh, they didn't have enough robots to keep up with it, so they went ahead and created more robots. So, works. It works. It's great. I like it. I like it. I do. I do. I do. I do. We need some more fast inserters. Let's grab wraps with these guys. I need some coppers. I need copper to make copper. Sounds like a lot of things in life. <clears throat> Down this way. We're gonna make this go this way. Let me cut that off for a second. Did this. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That up there. Perfect. Okay, add another line worth, right? So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I could. Add move this over one. Besides that, not really. Need some power lines. <clears throat> Fast splitter. There we go. Fixed. Alrighty. <clears throat> so that's better. So much to do. So much. Throughput here isn't high enough. Or hasn't really gotten here yet, has it? Uh, no, not quite yet. Mm. 
There we are. That's better. It's backed up. It's on the top. Oh, because that's the one being favored. Because that's where they pull from the top, usually. Pull from the furthest side, favoring wise. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, wait. Where's the closest one? It is closest. Okay. So I'm not sure why I was being favored originally, but we're good. Alright, so that's fixed. Alrighty, so once again, back to our auto crafting stuff. Yeah. Need copper. So, um, let's see here. We have this set up here. It's already making the fast. And so does that. So we make another setup over here. We're going to need the underground belts, which is transport belt and iron plate. Can we grab the transport belts from over here? Can we do that? Is that a possibility? We could do it via logistics systems. Request your chests. Not a bad idea. Why not? What harm could this do? We gotta pass the provider here already. No, this is a requester. This requests them. Because it'll pull from that. Or it's supposed to, but it's too fast. That's not doing any good now, is it? If I do that. So let's go ahead and make that a passive provider instead. And then make it. That's yeah, still fine. Keep it that way. There. Okay, this is a requester into the passive provider of all the things. This way, <clears throat> they'll take. That's funny. I didn't think about that. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, none of that. Fitty. It's fine. Go away. That's pretty funny, though. Uh, Fitty. <clears throat> So, yeah, that's interesting. How do I go about this? You will only work when the number of transfer belts is less than 50. Requester chest. This doesn't count. Path provider chest. Open. There. <clears throat> now this should be getting a signal of like 188. Yeah. That's that's fantastic. Then the requester chest I can put over here. Is still within the limit. It looks like right over here to be outside the limit. Yeah. Uh, being colorblind is really difficult when it comes to this stuff. I'm not sure if it's in or out. Wait. Here is in. Here is out. So that's the line right there. Okay. So if I put this here, it will be just inside for me to go fitty. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. That works. So. <clears throat> Any underground belts? That plus some iron. That's all we need, right? Or is it gears? Nope, iron plates. Easily done. There. So underground belts there. So then for the upgraded underground belts, we just need gears and underground belts. So we can do a gear pocket here. Of course, I need an underground belt, right? Oh, I've got six of them. I don't know if I'm keeping this stuff there or not. I haven't quite decided. Well, I'll upgrade these in a minute. It's fine. Do 
on any of that in my inventory. Especially that. You go away. Alrighty, uh, place this down here. Place that right there. Now you up one. There we go. There. Fast inserters need some iron. More fast inserters. So this will be a gear. This will be. No, I need to move this down. So this needs to be one away, one up. Down one. Take this down. It's fine. I need more inserters. Inserter. Thank you. This will be gears. This will be fast underground. A lot of gears, huh? Not that way. One down here. <clears throat> and then that will go into a pass provider chest. Now I work on logistics um, inventory slots for myself. As well. Yeah, get rid of all this crap from my inventory. Please. Please remove it. And actually, because of that, they're gonna be creating more. Right? That's what they're working on? You're crafting more, you yourselves? Yes? You add a material or something? What's going on here? You're crafting more. You have you had one sitting there, right? We have 30. You have 30 of them now. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. It's It just upgrades itself. It's it's awesome. It's just so simplistic. It's awesome. Do you have a bunch of iron? Because I need gears and advanced circuits. Okay, so I need some more advanced circuits. Because I'm going to create another one. Take those. And then just need some gears. Thank you. Those gears. Appreciate it. I'll put one over here. Go there. Get some power. This pass provider stacked up to one. There we go. So underground belts are being crafted. Next is the splitter belts. Splitter, fast splitter thingies. All right. So we need electric circuits, iron plate, and transport belts. So we need multiple items here. The transport belts being dropped off here. All right. So we can easily do another one up here. I want to wait until the robot the thing is completed so I can put this over here somewhere. That's fine. Alright, so requester. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Requester here. That's going to go into a requester for that and some iron. So we're going to have that here, and that here. Let's set it that way. This will be the gear. This will be electric circuits. So gear. Okay, I move this over one. I can do that here. Not only gear. What, what am I doing here? I'm being stupid. That's what I'm doing. I'm being stupid. And then just electric circuits. Right? Standard electric circuits. Shrink that down to 50. There. <clears throat> and that'll be fine. Look at that. Shoom. That's maxed out. How oh, cool. It's maxed out. I don't know if that was actually going to max out or not, but it, it did. It it did. Look at that. Huh. Because that maxed out. But it's maxed out because it's going slow. Because there's not enough of the advanced circuits. Why is there not enough advanced circuits? Is it just because they're slow? Is that what it is? Is it just being slow because they're slow to build? I mean, that's what it is, and that's what it is, but... 
That means we just have to make more. Drop, drop. Long asserter. Thank you. Is this just a drop off that I had here? To drop off the advanced circuits that I had? That's what that was. I can get rid of this. No, I don't need that anymore. Get rid of that. Alright. So now we have that being crafted. We have these guys being crafted. Uh, slowly, it seems. Or is it just because it's full already? It's already full. So I need some more iron. And. That's so cool. I like that. It seems like a, bit, a lot of like little issues because I didn't really do a lot of actual like thought balancing on everything. Like I didn't like compare ratios of crafting, which is really what I should have done in the begin with. But I just was playing the game, having fun, you know. So there's always things to fix. But we'll go ahead and like dismantle everything in the near future and just rebuild all of it. Of course, the dismantling I am going to take off screen so you don't have to watch me dismantle everything. Because that'll be so wonderful, won't it? You know? So I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to be an awful person and do that to you. Um, let's see here. So I was getting this done, getting this set up. Alright, so what's next? We need this one, we need electric circuits, iron gears, and splitters. Okay. So, just uh, do one of those things with those things and that. There is the electric circuits, which are you know already down here. And there's the mine gears, right? So that doesn't seem too hard. Choose one thousand advanced circuits per hour. Huh? What do you know? All right. Um. Let's see here. Crafting nice and quickly, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just keeping up with it. There's 20 iron gears for one of those suckers. Oh, that's done. Worker speed 5. My phone went off. Oh, weird. Alright, worker speed 5. It's going to take a while, but then it'll be the fastest robots that they can be. Go, robots, go. Mm. Really? What are they going off for? Crazy. Alright, put that down. We're going to need some fast inserters. Have that come up here. I'll flip this around. And one more fast inserter. This will be a lot better when I actually get it all set up. And, well, by all set up, I mean like when I go and dismantle everything. Because it needs to be redone. Big time. I just like sp almost like spaghetti farm this thing or whatever you want to call it. Uh, spaghetti factory. That's what it is. Spaghetti factory. Spaghetti factorio. Because I just made like a big mess of it. I didn't really like properly do everything. This one, right? Yep. Cool. Good thing out of here too. Um, so, at this point, um, yeah, so we got auto crafting here, auto crafting there. We're doing good, actually. I'm, uh, I'm rather impressed with myself a little bit. Oh, okay, not really. Not really impressed with myself, because it's something that's pretty standard for me to set up and get going, because I, I mean, I was actually being lazy about it until more recently. So, not really that impressive. I'll just be lazy. Alright. Um, so, but I think we're actually getting kind of to that point where a remodel may be in order. So, I may want to do that. I may want to do the remodeling. And, um, yeah. We'll see how this works out. You know? Concrete everywhere. All the concrete. Not that I need to put it there, to be honest. Like where I was actually placing it just isn't necessary. Do 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 do. 
do, 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 do. Cool. Um, I didn't really set up a goal for this, huh? Factory is working well. Things are being researched. Um, I don't really want to add. Oh, what's this? It seems. Yeah, once again, the advanced circuits. So yeah, let's upgrade the advanced circuits. Ah, there we go. Something to do. Advanced circuit upgrade. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. I need long asserter. If I do one more, right? Just need some copper and some iron. And then another long inserter. So right there. There we go. <clears throat> that should be a lot better. I've added three more to the line. Let's see these craft at twelve. But because these are seventy-five, it's not quite twelve seconds. It's a little a little different than that. So twelve divided by Hello everyone. At this point of the video, there's a bit of an issue where I clicked the wrong button while doing a bit of calculations and ended up actually muting my mic, which I know very well was very dumb of me. So I'm going to narrate over the rest of this. I calculated that the uh, I could easily create another set of the um, advanced circuits in order to match what we needed for the uh, science packs. Then I went ahead and started setting that all up to make it work, added in another set here as well. This is a separate location so that I can set up for the um, robots. So the robots are able to pick up from this location rather than continuing from up there. This way they were all set for the science and then anything extra would end up in this box here. But more than likely not. Started upgrading the area a little bit with the extra uh, concrete that I was picking up. Once again, this is just all quality of life upgrades and just kind of making things easier around the base. I was looking around for more resources and which ones I needed to take care of, including bases. So I went ahead and double checked everything and realized that there was a bit of a, uh, a lax in the setup here. We're making a whole lot more copper than we were doing before. And I wanted to restrict the science packs to only make so many, so that it's only making the science packs we need rather than overproducing the science packs. Because later in the game, especially near the like um, near the late game, where we had finished all of our research, we would have a pile of extra science packs that we don't need. So we wanted to go ahead and prevent that from happening by setting up this system that would only have so many in the system before stopping the production of them. So I went ahead and used the logistics network in order to set the restrictions. As you can see there, they're being loaded in. This is then, from now on, going to use the robots in order to transfer the science packs from one location to another, even though it's only a small distance between them. When I go ahead and rebuild the entire base, it's going to be even more set up with the robots taking control of most of the actual transferring of items. And I was relishing in the ideas of the robots picking up everything for me. It was fantastic. I was just like, this is awesome. So little work for me to do. And also upgrading with the red belts rather than the yellow belts now as well. Wherever I could. This is the setup for the green. I'm going to drop into the box there. I was setting restrictions to 10. So that after 10 were created, it would stop creating more. Or rather, after 10 were in the logistic system, it would stop creating more. So 
so the end of this, when all the research is done, I should have, I believe, 20 or 30 of each. I forget my restrictions I put on the boxes themselves. I was just dropping all of my uh, science in there as well because that's all they're going to do is drop more science in there. Later in the game, I can use the alien for alien artifacts or something else, but right now, that's all I could use them for. See, there's a robot transferring the science into those boxes now. Yeah, set for 50. So a total of 60 of each will be created as an overflow, which is perfectly fine because that's not nearly as many resources as having an entire line of several hundred being created and being wasted. So I just wanted to create enough that I didn't have to worry about wasting several hundred science packs in resources near the end of the game where I've had completed all of my uh, research. Because there's only so much research in the game. This particular setup I decided not to go with the um, the, the uh, robots because they were so close. So I didn't see a point in doing it. There we go. Everything seemed to have checked out at that point, so that was done, so I went ahead and just started dropping some concrete. Came back over here and I realized that uh, we were keeping up with the coal, but we needed to find a solution relatively soon of a better coal spot. And there is one in the southeast from our base. Is getting rid of some of these. I noticed I can't do it like a shift click into trash slots for um, the belts, which really annoyed me a little bit because I would like to be able to do that. And I'm also trying to figure out like where's the auto trash slot. Um, I think I'll look into the uh, science later to try to figure out where it is. Um, and I set up here for a the um, the advanced. Uh, I'm moving stuff around. But I actually set up those that line there for steel and copper to make advanced ammunition. And then grab some fuel because we're going to take out a biter base near the uh, coal. See? Upgrading worker speed's all done. Went ahead and started with the logistics slots. I found that the automatic trash slots are actually in the line of the trash slots. It's the last... Um, research for it. So you need to do all the research for the trash slots before you can do the automated trash slots. Which I haven't really looked at yet, so I'm not sure how they work. So I'm really interested in seeing how, how, how they went about the automated trash slots. So right there we're creating some advanced ammunition. We're all set there. So we have a pile of fuel, a pile of advanced ammunition. Getting some logistics slots to work with. I went and picked up my car because I was all the other side of the base. I was getting ready to, for a biter attack. So I went ahead and fueled up my... St uh, what was it? Alright, I went and grabbed some ammunition first. Is that my thing? And ended the episode at this point because I wanted to go ahead as a bit of a cliffhanger because his time was running out. So I saved the game and I'm out. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.